Hello, hello, I am Ali Hatami. I want to explain to you about Mendel and the gene idea. And Mendel, for a question of genetic, got, uh, for example, the pea plants. And Mendel working at the pea plants because pea plant has a many variety and has a many type and for example we have a type of a pea plant has that has a red flower or we have a flower of pea plant that has a purple color and or white color or pink color and we have many uh, different types together between pea plants and we have a part from the pea plant, for example, uh, a stamens, a stamens or carpel, and for example, pod. Pod is this figure. What is this? That and pod has a few seeds from pea plant, and this is a pod. And we have a flower from pea plant, and we have a size of pea plant. For example, we have a pea plant that has a, a tall size, and that are tall, and a size of pea plant that are normal, and the and the size of pea plant that are small, and other size and we have a genotype and a phenotype at the pea plants and I explained to you about the genotype and phenotype and genotype we have two different genes for example I use as a genetic for example a genotype A we have a capital A and we have a small a. And note that we have a dominant adult and we have a recessive adult. Recessive adult has different uh, to dominant adult and has a few problems. And and the pea plant that has a recessive allele has a few problems and the pea plant that has a, a dominant allele that dominant allele don't have any problem and this because dominant allele don't have any problem this plant don't have any problem and for example we show I show to you uh, dominant adult with capital A, this is the dominant adult, and I show to you recessive adult with a small a. And we have, for example, we want to make three different genotype with A. And we have phenotype. Phenotype is, uh, for example, the color from the color of flower of pea plant and the size of pea plant and the shape of for example pod of pea plant and the color of pea plant and for example the shape of the seed of pea plant and the color of the seed of pea plant and this is the phenotype from pea plant and we have two genotype at the pea plant. We have a homozygous genotype and we have a heterozygous genotype. And there are two type of genotype. And what is heterozygous and what is homozygous? For example, we have a pea plant that has a, this adult, double capital A. And we know that capital A or dominant adult 
don't have any problem. And if the, we have a genotype that uh, in this genotype we have two dominant RL, we have uh, people that don't have any problem. And because we have, for example, in this genotype, this genotype has a dominant RL and dominant RL. And because this is dominant allele and this is dominant allele two, and they are like together, we call this genotype homozygous genotype. And homozygous genotype are the genotypes that their alleles are to, uh, like together. For example, double capital A or double small a. And yeah, we can write the allele from the pea plant that has a few problems but because this has a few problems this has a few problems too and this genotype called homozygous too and for example we have a pea plant that has a this genotype capital A and a small but we know that capital A is dominant allele but a small a is recessive allele and capital A don't has any problem and a small a has a few problems and because this has a few problem but this don't has any problem and this isn't like this allele and because we have a genotype and that their allele is has a different together. We call this genotype, this genotypes, heterozygous allele, and this is a heterozygous allele. And we have two different color at the pea plants, and we have a. The purple color, for example, in this figure, this is a purple flower, and we have white flower, and we have a white flower and purple flower, and for example, we have we want to we have a two pea plant, and this pea plant making a generation. And this generation has a few of the springs, and or this has a few seeds. And how we can have a seed or pot? Pot we saw that pot is this. And first we have a pea plant, and then we have to one remove the stamen from purple flower and then we have to transfer a sperm brain this is a sperm brain pollen from stamens of white flower this is a white flower to a brain to egg brain carpel of purple flower. This is a purple flower and this is a white flower. And then at three we have a pot and this pot has a few seeds of pea plants. And this is a pot. And this is a making of uh, pea plant and for example why we have two different color for example we have a pea plant that has a purple flower and or purple color and we have a pea plant that has a white color or white flower and I want to explain to you this And we know that, for example, if I have a 
blonde hair or I have a brown hair or I have a brown eyes and this is a phenotype from the people and but genotype uh, we saw about genotype if we have a double capital A notice that the pea plant that has a purple flower or purple color is better than the pea plant that has a white color or white flower. For example, we have double dominant aisle or the genotype from pea plant. And we know that this capital A is a dominant aisle and this capital A is dominant aisle too. And there are dominant aisle and dominant aisle don't have any problem. And because we, ha we don't have any problem in this genotype, this genotype make, and genotype make a phenotype. And this genotype make, makes a flower or plant that has a purple flower. And this genotype or double capital A has a purple flower. And this is a purple. And for example, we have a genotype. And this genotype is a capital A and a small a. And we know that capital A is a dominant adult and a small a is a recessive adult. And we have in this genotype a dominant allele and a recessive allele. Recessive allele has a few problems and capital A or dominant allele don't have any problem. And because we have a recessive allele and we have a dominant allele because we have a dominant allele in this genotype and dominant allele don't have any problem, and we have in this genotype or this pea plant we have a few problems, but these problems don't show to be. For example, we have a man that can't uh, see or can't listen and uh, can't uh, speak. And because there are there has a recessive battle. And we have a capital A and a small a, and because we have a dominant allele, and this genotype is shown to be a dominant genotype. And this is a dominant genotype, and this is a dominant, dominant genotype too. And this has a purple phenotype too, or purple color. And then we have a genotype that this genotype is double a small a. And we have this genotype. This genotype has a recessive adult and has a recessive adult too. And we know that recessive adults have a few problems. And for example, we have a genotype like this. And this has a few problems and this has a few, pro a few problems too. But when that these problems is together make the sick and this sick cause that the phenotype from this genotype is white and we saw that purple flower is better than white flower because white flower has a few problems and has a sick but Purple flower don't have any sick and don't have any problem. And if we have a capital A and a small a, in this genotype we have a few problems. But because we have a dominant allele, this recessive allele or this a few problems don't show to be. But where uh, when that we have two recessive allele or two uh, allele that has a few problems. This make this problem together making a sick. And we have a few parts from 
pea plant. We have a seed of pea plant, we have a flower of pea plant, and we have a pod of pea plant, and for example, we have the size of pea plant, and other things. And we have a, a different shape from the, for example, the seed of pea plant, and the different shape from a uh, different shape of the part of pea plant, and different shape of and different size of uh, pea plant. And we have two different shapes from the seed of pea plant. This shape are the seed of flower, and we have two seeds, and this seed, this, has a few right leaves. And we have a seed that has a few right leaves, and we have a seed that don't have a right leaf. And we have, a, for example, the color, two different color of a seed of pea plant. And the seed of pea plant has a yellow and green color. And we have a few types from these pea plants. For example, we have a pea plant that has a yellow color and this is yellow. And we have a seed of pea plant that has a green color. This is a green. And for example, we have a seed of pea plant, and this has a yellow color with right leaf. And this is with right leaf, and we have a seed of pea plant that has a green color or and uh, with right leaf. And noting that the seed of pea plant that has a yellow color is better than better than the pea plant that has a green color. And for example, the seed of pea plant that don't have any right leaf is better than the seed of pea plant that has a few right leaves. And we have and uh, we don't have different and we don't have different shape of a uh, flower of pea plant. We have two different color from pea plant. Uh, white or uh, or purple and white and this is the two different color from flower of pea plants and these two different color is a purple and white color and we have two different color from the part of pea plant this is a yellow and green. And we have a few size of pea plants. For example, we have a uh, pea plant that that size are tall or a pea plant that has a normal size and we have a pea plant that has a, a small size and this is the size of pea plant and we, I explained to you about the part of pea plants and I want to explain to you about uh, Austrian
we have, uh, um, I want to explain to you about the 